So guys welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video we will see msi monitor keep turning off so without wasting your time let get started so the step one is to do you can simply inspect the cable okay so sometimes when the cable is damaged or loose it can gives you a automatic some turns off error okay that's why you are frustrated okay so you can simply inspect the cable which the input cable which one is connected like type c or hdmi or our display port and inspect its looseness okay so when the cable is damaged or loose you will facing a turn off issue okay step 2 check input settings okay so locate the input button on your monitor frame okay and then press it and press input button until you find here the right match okay so and then you can simply select the right input that fit for you according to your settings okay wait i will show you so here is the input number 3 and now it's selected to type c and also my monitor is connected with a type c cable okay step 2 reset monitor so consult your monitor user manual for specific instructions and then process a factory reset okay to perform a factory reset you can go to settings okay in settings you can simple go to reset and then press enter to reset your monitor okay so this can sometimes resolve a software glitches issues okay that keeps your monitor turn off okay so the next step is to check the graphics driver so ensure your graphics drivers are up to date and outdated or faulty drivers can cause monitor turn off issue okay so you can simple update your driver or reinstall if necessary okay so the next step is screen saver and power settings so disable screen saver or set it to none ensure your computer screen timeout settings are not set to low adjust power settings to prevent sudden shutdowns okay so the next step is to inspect the power supply board okay sometimes a faulty board can do a automatic turn off issue because the faulty board can sometimes gives power and sometimes not and then they, you are think that the issue is from your monitor end but the issue is from a power output source okay so you can simply change the board and then try it again okay so if none of these steps work so it may be a issue from any internal issue so in this case you can simply contact the customer support for further assistant okay then they will provide you a steps or they can give you a home visit or if your monitor is under warranty you can simply request for a replacement so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials goodbye